Hi, Prince and Princesses. I'm Auntie Kay, and this is our children's Sabbath school program. And guess what? You are welcome to come along with me. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Hello, my prince and princesses, and welcome to Lesson 6. Hello, my prince and princesses, and welcome to Lesson 6. Hi to all my prince and princesses all around the world, and welcome to the Anti-Gay Children's Sabbath School program. Yep, today, as always, we're reading from our primary lesson quarterly and we're on lesson six as i beautifully sang <laughs> and we are looking at more time on the clock yep that is what we'll be reading about and learning about today from our primary sabbath school quarterly you know before we go any further let's say hi to our heavenly father through prayer wonderful father oh mighty god daddy friend everything thank you for this beautiful sabbath day that you've not just allowed myself but all the prince and princesses and all the bigger prince and princesses too for them to be all of us to be here at this time to learn about you to spend this time together and to witness another beautiful sabbath day thank you lord for loving us thank you for being with us in Jesus' name i pray amen and amen <laughs> Halle, halle, hallelujah. I sing praises because I am happy. Mm -hmm. My friends and princesses, now let us head on over to be welcomed. Hello and welcome to Andy Gay's Children's South School Program where Prince and Princesses all around the world get to enjoy and learn about the love of God. Through sign language, messages with Princess Malloray, character teachers from Nails, Nature Nuggets, Sing Along Time, Mary Versus, Story Hill with Princess Da Vincia, Test Your Knowledge with Quiz Kids, Hashtag Puzzle Fun, Enjoy Object Lessons with Auntie Patty Pat, Bible Questions with Ask Pastor Nasa, Great Crafty Crafts and Good Yummy Goodness with the Girls Tasty Treats. So, no matter where you're living on this great big planet, you are welcome to participate, enjoy and share. Yes, we live far and wide, but God's love connects us no matter how you look, where you're from, the color of your skin, or even your culture. Welcome! So, uh-huh, yep, we've been welcomed. It's now time to hear from Princess Malray as she shares with us our message sign of the day. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Let's sign together. God keeps his promises. And with my quarterly in hand, I want to say thank you, Princess Malaray, for signing our message for us. And for those of you who probably don't know, you can find our message in our quarterly every week. And this week's message says, God keeps his promises. Yes, he does. Thank you, Princess Malaray, for signing our message. And now it's time for us to get our praises on. It's sing a loud time. in the trees to grow. He makes food from the garden and food from the tree. It's food for you and it's food for me. Oh, grow, grow, God makes things grow. Grow whatever seed I sow from the heavens above to the earth below. He's the one who makes things grow. He's the one I want to know. God is a farmer and he wants us to see we are the branches and he's the tree if we don't stay close to him then we'll fall off down into sin oh. Farmer 
granny wants us to hear His return is growing near When Jesus comes back he'll want to see That his love is growing in you and in me oh, praise Jesus and love Him, we grow to be more and more like Him. So let's praise the Lord all day, every day. There's a light within me, the perfect light of Christ, and I have made a promise to keep it burning bright by walking in His footsteps and following His plan in every time, in every place, in every way I can. I will shine. friends all over the world who love Jesus and call him their Lord. But there are also millions of people who don't know. So come on, let's tell them that Jesus Christ is the Lord of all. Jesus Christ is the Lord of all, Lord of all the earth. Jesus Christ is the Lord of all, Lord of all the earth. Jesus Christ is the Lord of all. Jesus Christ is the Lord of all, Lord of all the earth. Only one God over the nations, only one Lord of all. In no other name is there salvation. Jesus is Lord.
Jesus Christ is the Lord above, Lord above the earth. Jesus Christ is the Lord above, Lord above the earth. Jesus Christ is the Lord above, Lord above the earth. Jesus Christ is the Lord above, Lord above the earth. Let's hear it. Jesus Christ is the Lord above. <laughs> it's now time for us to hear our memory verse. Mm -hmm. It's in our Guadalupe, and it's going to be said by Princess Ladybug. Lesson 6 memory verse is, The Lord will do what He has promised. Isaiah 38 verse 7. Thank you, Princess Ladybug, for sharing with us our memory verse. And now it's time for us to hear our story. And let me hear us repeat the title of Lesson 6 story. Yes, more time on the clock. Princess Da Vinci is coming to read that for us right now. Hi, boys and girls. It's story time more time on the clock. Kyrie was so sick, so sick that she didn't even think she would ever get well. Day after day, she felt awful and day after day, she prayed that God would make her well. God heard her prayers and she got better. Kyrie learned that God answers prayers. King Hezekiah learned that too. King Hezekiah was helpless. He didn't like the feeling. He was used to being in charge of his life, but now he was very sick. In his bedroom, King Hezekiah tossed and turned feverishly. His head ached and his whole body felt sore all over. He thought about his life. He had been a good king. He had obeyed God and been faithful. He had done what the prophets had told him to do. What would happen to him now? God knew that the king was a good man, and he knew that the king had some questions. So he sent the prophet Isaiah to walk to him, talk to him. Isaiah had news that the king did not want to hear. He told the king as gently as he could. This is what the Lord says. Put your house in order because you are going to die. You will not recover. Isaiah 38 verse 1. And then Isaiah left. Being a messenger of God wasn't always pleasant. I can't imagine doing that job because if I have to bring some bad news to somebody, I would be sad. Let's continue on. King Hezekiah turned his face away from the, his servants and faced his bedroom wall. He began to cry with loud sobs. Everyone nearby could hear him. Clearly his heart was broken and he was afraid. The servants too were frightened. They wanted to help, but they did not know how. In his most helpless moment, the king turned to God and revealed his life. Remember how I have followed you faithfully and wholehearted devo with wholehearted devotion? Hezekiah said, I have done what is good in your eyes. He started crying again. God took pity on Hezekiah. He sent Isaiah back to the king with a new message. Isaiah said, this is what the Lord says. I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will add 15 years to your life. If God add 15 years to my life, I will be rejoicing in praises. This is the Lord's sign to you that the Lord will do what he had promised. He will make a, the shadow cast by the sun go back 10 steps. It has gone down on the stairway of Azaz. 
Isaiah 38, 5 to 7. The shadow would move backward. Then Isaiah told the servants how to care for Hezekiah, and they did as Isaiah said. Isaiah 38, verse 21. Hezekiah lived another 15 years and continued to serve God. Hezekiah wrote about this miracle. You can read his words in Isaiah chapter 38. He praised God for being healed and promised to tell his story to his children. He promised to praise God for his faithfulness. He said with confidence, the Lord will save me and we will sing and will sh with string instruments all the days of our lives in the temple of the Lord. Isaiah 38 verse 20. Not everyone experiences a miracle as King Hezekiah did. People still die from being sick, but there is hope. God has promised to send Jesus to take us to heaven. When he comes, those who have been faithful will be resurrected in heaven. We will live forever with Jesus. No one will get sick or die. We can believe that promise because God keeps all his promises just as he did for Hezekiah. Happy Sabbath boys and girls! More time on the clock. Oh, thank you so much, Princess Da Vinci, for sharing with us that story. And that had some very interesting things happening throughout it. Mm hmm. And now we're about to hear from Prince Thim and Nathan, as they're going to share with us what they would have learned from this story. More time on the clock. Yes, the story talks about um, promises. King Ezekiah was almost going to go was go almost going to kill, to be killed to die. So he asked God for more years. Oh, so, I know, fifteen years. Yes. So God gave him fifteen years. Yeah, you know. And when his 15 years passed, passed, he died. Yes, he died. So, Nathan, the story talk, tells us that God will always keep in promise. So, all the promises that are in the Bible, he will always, always promise. He always keep his promise. Yes. Remember, guys. Trust in God because He will always keep His promise. Bye! Thank you, Prince Thim, and thank you, Prince Nathan, for sharing with us what you would have learned. And after hearing what Thim and Nathan would have shared with us, it's now time for Quiz Kids. Yes, those ears were definitely turned up and turned on, so you're ready for any question that I sent at you in Quiz Kids coming up right now. What was the name of the king in the story? Was it a. Jeremiah, B. Ezekiel, or C. Hezekiah? C. Hezekiah. Which prophet of the Lord had a message for King Hezekiah? Was it A. Elisha, B. Isaiah, or C. Samuel? B. Isaiah. How many more years did King Hezekiah live for? Was it A. 15, B. 7, or C. 100? A. 15. How many steps back did the sundial go? Was it A4, B10, or C12? 
be 10. Hashtag puzzle fun. More time on the clock puzzle. Directions. Sometimes people feel helpless, like King Hezekiah. God performed a miracle and gave the king another 15 years of life. The king knew the miracle would happen because the sundial moved backward 10 steps. Study these sundials and mark those that are the same. Let's get our eyes working and let's see if we can find the similar ones. Hmm. I think, yes, I think I've found the three. So it's that one in the middle, then that's that one at the end, and there's one more in the second row. There it is. Thank you, my inspectors, for using your eyes to help me to find all the sundials that look alike. Hashtag puzzle fun, quiz kids, Niles nature nuggets, all of those have been beautifully done. It's now time for us to hear from Auntie Patty Pat as she's going to share with us a great object lesson using our message of the day which says God, yes, keeps his promises. Hey boys and girls, Auntie Patty Pat here. Do you know what it means to keep a promise? Oh, I like when people keep their promises. It means that whatever they say they will do, they will do. So if my mom promised to take me shopping, then I can depend on her to take me shopping. If she didn't, I would be very sad. Boys and girls, God always keeps his promises. Anything God says, he does. When God made the mango tree, he says, the mango tree will bear mangoes. And when I went to the mango tree, I got a nice mango. And he said, the star fruit tree will always have star fruits. And I went to the star fruit tree and I got star fruit. And he said, the golden apple or the June plum will always bear June plums. And I got June plums. Can you imagine? If I went to the apple tree expecting a nice juicy apple and when I reached up and I picked I got an Irish potato I would not be happy at all so it's a good thing God keeps his promise it makes you able to depend on him will you keep your promises Whenever you promise your mommy or your daddy or your friends or your brother or your sister anything, make sure you keep your promise just the way God keeps his promises to us. See, the sky is dark. There are heavy clouds, which means God is promising rain. And I've got to run inside right now. Bye. Thank you, Auntie Patty Pat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, Auntie Patty Pat, for another awesome, great, terrific, out of the box object lesson. And after Auntie Patty Pat would have done such a great job, it's now time for us to hear our Bible question and Bible answer with. Ask Pasta Nasa. Hello, Pasta Nasa. My name is Alpha Dummy. But why Jesus us so much? Hey, thank you so much for that question. It's a really good one. But you know in the book of 1 John chapter 4 and verse 16, the Bible says, And we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God, and God in him. You see, boys and girls, Jesus loves us so much, because Jesus is love. That's right. It's all in him. It's who he is. And so he has to act because he is all loving. He doesn't care about the color of your skin or your background or how much money you may have or how much education you may have. Jesus 
just loves you because he can't help himself. It's like two magnets. They're always pulling towards one another and that's how Jesus' love works for you. But you know what, boys and girls? In order for us to experience all the blessings that God has for us, we have to give our lives to Jesus. That's right. When we give our lives to him and we obey all that he asks us, then the love that Jesus has for us, we get to experience it. And guess what? We can share it with others. That's right. I want to share Jesus' love with others. Do you? Then let's give our lives to him and we can experience all of Jesus' love. See you next time. Thank you, my princess, all the way over there in Denmark for that great question. And thank you, Pastor Nasa, for sharing such an awesome answer with us that comes to us from the Bible. Thank you. And now it's time for us to head on over to Crafty Craft Corner, y'all. Aunt Polly has something up her sleeve for us that we are going to be making that comes from our story. Let's head on over. Polly, that guitar is genius. And yes, indeed, string instruments were mentioned in our story. Thank you, Aunt Polly. And now it's time for us to head on over to hearing our mission story. Me Sala. Yaquai lives in Port Morris by Papua New Guinea. She is eight years old, but already she has helped someone meet Jesus. When her church sponsored a children's Sabbath, Yaquai was one of four children who spoke for the Sabbath worship. It was a little hard, Yaquai said. I was in the first grade then, and I couldn't read very well. So, Mother read my sermon to me, and I memorized it. She helped me learn how to speak loudly and how to use my hands for expression. By the time of the service, I was only a little nervous. On Children's Sabbath, Yaquai prayed that God would give her the strength in her voice and use her words to help someone who would want to find out more about Jesus. She didn't know it, but someone in the audience was touched by God as Yaquai spoke. Natasha had never been to the Adventist church before. Her aunt had invited her to the Children's Sabbath program. Natasha attended church with her parents on Sunday, 
but the children's program sounded interesting, so she decided to attend. She had never seen children lead a worship service before. They led the singing and prayed, and four children even preached. She was excited to see the children up front. Then Yaquai, the smallest child, stood to speak. Natasha listened in amazement. This girl was younger than Natasha. How can such a little girl preach, she wondered. Then she whispered to her auntie, Misala. That means I like it. I want to learn to do that too. Natasha wanted to visit the Seventh-day Adventist church again, and her parents agreed. Since then, Natasha has attended every Sabbath. She especially likes Sabbath school with its active songs for children and an interesting Bible story every week. It's great! I like how the teacher tells us about God in words we can understand. Me, Salah! Several months later, the children presented another special program. This time, Natasha took part. She told the people how a little girl's sermon had made her want to continue coming to church. Then Natasha called Yaquai to the front and thanked her for her part in the program. Yaquai didn't know that her sermon had helped Natasha come to church. She was glad that God used her words to touch Natasha's heart. Natasha looks forward to the day she can preach in church. I'll ask Yaquai to help me, she says, and I'll invite my parents and friends to come. And I'll ask God to help me tell them more about Jesus' love, just as Yaquai did when she preached. I think God would answer my prayer. He answered Yaquai's. Yaquai and Natasha want you to share God's love with others so that they can get excited about God. You can do that this week. Wasn't that a beautiful mission story? Yes, it was. And that means our Sabbath School program for Lesson 6, it's done, it's over, it's finished. Which means we're moving on to Lesson 7. But guess what? I just had a great idea. I would love for all of you prince and princesses to have your quarterlies so that you could follow along during the lesson. So you could know the story, you could read along, so you could know the message, you could learn your memory verse. And guess what? You could even know what hashtag Puzzle Fun Auntie K will be using because it's all there. Do you know what's even more beautiful about our quarterlies? We have different activities for every day. There's one for Sabbath, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Your quarterly is filled with so many awesome things that we could do. So if you need a quarterly, you can head to your Sabbath school teacher and you can go ahead and ask them for one. And for those of you, because I do know that we have non-Adventists who were, who watches the program. If you would like to find out how you can get a quarterly, you can email me at antikcssl at gmail.com and I can let you know how you could get your very own quarterly because guess what? They're fun. They're absolutely fun. And we are heading on Lesson 7 next week. Let's see what it's about. <gasps> lesson 7 is going to be about jars of clay. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm interested to see what it's going to be all about. Thank you, my prince and princesses, for spending this time with me. I love you. Yes, I do. But our Heavenly Father, oh, he loves us so, 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 so much more. He loves us with an everlasting love. And he wants for all of us to invite him into our hearts. And how do we do that? By spending time with him, by praying, by reading our Bibles, by doing Bible studies. And for some of us who have to make the decision to get baptized. Mm -hmm. So if you would like for that to happen, you could speak with your parents, who could speak with your pastor. And then guess what? Mm -hmm. From there, you will see that you could make that decision of saying, Lord, I want to be baptized in you. Remember, my friends and princesses, I love you. Until next week, Sabbath, be good boys, be good girls, and be blessed. Mwah! We're going to end with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in the heaven, hallowed be my name. Thou kingdom come, thou will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Happy Sabbath, everyone! Happy Sabbath, everyone! Happy Sabbath, everyone! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Bye. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, everyone. And we'll see you all again next week.